Hi, and welcome to Mum's Den. My name is Ivona, and today I'll be helping you to obtain one of the most beautiful mounts introduced in Shadowlands. It's a really cool unicorn model, and as they can also fly now, it is a great idea to add it to your collection in less than 10 minutes. This is really easy to obtain mount when you hit level 60, as all you need to do is fight a few elite mobs along the way. However, if you're not as geared like I'm currently not, it is better to tag along with a friend who is also looking to get this beauty. Before you get yourself on your white horse, consider subbing to my channel as I've got a bunch of quick and easy mount class spec and other wow guides with more coming in every day, so I hope I'll be seeing you around. Now, when it comes to getting the Shimmer Mist Runner, you want to start in the Mist Veil Tangle, and I'll leave you the pathway coordinates in the video description so you don't have to worry about that. The first thing you need to do is read the scroll hanging from the tree, which will help with giving you some info on how to get the mount, even though this step is not mandatory. Basically, it tells you to follow the blue lamps, which is a bit more roleplay way to find your way to the final NPC, but it can also be useful if you get confused on how to follow the coordinates. Just make sure you're not tricked by the red lamps, which also hang around, and only follow the blue ones. It is quite important to note that the blue lamps can be on the ground too too, and not just in the air, so watch out for that. There are a few tips that can help you do the maze, since all you essentially need to do is follow the coordinates and you'll get to the mount. It is super important not to try and find your own way to the final point, because NPCs along with your loot will despawn right in front of you, so don't hope to just fly over there across the maze once flying is unlocked. So if your NPCs despawn, just go back to the beginning of the maze and start over. There's also a cool little tool that you get from the questing area nearby in the forest and it's called the pinch of fairy dust which only lasts for 15 minutes in your bag but it is highly worth it since it can help you fly for two minutes and all you need to do is fly through the maze in the correct order there are also some bounding shrooms all over the place if you mouse over them you'll get propelled into the air will have a slow fall effect on you and your detection radius will be reduced which will make all those elites see you less often if you're going on this adventure with a friend, it is also highly recommended to use a two-seated mount since both of you will be phased correctly and will get the mount, which is something my husband and I didn't think of doing even though we both have the rocket mount. But since you're watching this guide, you can do better than us, so make sure you do. What we did bring along are potions of invisibility, which helped going from one coordinate point to another whenever there was a dense pack of mobs we didn't want to engage. So if you're feeling the same way, bring those along as well and those are called the Potion of Hidden Spirit. Another cool thing to have is the Potion of Spectre Swiftness, which increases your movement speed by 100% when you're dead. And trust me when I say it, it is a super useful tool in this maze if you die a lot. Anyway, once you get to the last gate, all you need to do is engage Shizdir, which is your final boss. If you die while fighting him, don't worry about getting to the maze in correct order again, because he will be right there regardless. He also casts a few spells you can interrupt if you need to, so it's super useful to do that as well. Once you've killed Shizgar, all you need to do is click on that cute horse standing behind him and the mount will be put into your bags. It is very easy to do, most of the tips I've given you are just helpful tools you may or may not use, but now you have them, so if it helps you, then that's great, and if not, enjoy getting your easy mount anyway. That'll be it for today, I hope you enjoyed this guide, and if you do find it useful, make sure to leave it a like. If you'd like to score more easy wow wins, make sure to click on that sub button as well, and if I miss something, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe, and enjoy Shadowlands. Bye-bye.